how do you achieve your dream of buying a home on land, get the home, get the land, get it all, live the dream? The answer is actually pretty simple. People complicate this a lot. There's a couple of ways to make it way harder than it needs to be. There is no right or wrong way to do this, and some situations are better for others, but the simple way is to buy a home that is, wait for it, already on some land. And then the purchase and the shopping and the borrowing, if you're gonna do mortgage, is actually way, way simpler. We can value that thing all at once. The basic process to do that would be start this process as early as possible, identify the amount of land that allows you to do what it is you want and need to do, whether that's work out of a shop on the property, have room to play, have privacy, whatever those priorities are, we gotta establish those up front. When we do this with clients, we call that establishing your non-negotiables. And we do that in a basic initial consultation, either online, on Zoom, or in person. You need to do that up front. Most of us, especially if you're watching this, would like more land than we need, but sometimes end up with just what we need. Some of us would want more, that's okay. Establish what your non-negotiables are. Hey, I'd love 20, I could do with one or two. That way, when you search, you're searching the right things. If you're searching for existing homes on land already, you're likely to see more inventory at that lower acreage number, one, two, maybe five acres. When you start getting up into 20, 25, 50, you'll find a lot of land. You'll just find fewer parcels with a home in place, maybe that fits your criteria. Establish your non-negotiable. Then we wanna look at the whole spectrum. So if you wanted 20 acres, by all means, let's go look for 20 acres, maybe even 25, but let's bring that down until we hit that non-negotiable. I wouldn't do less than one or do less than two or three, whatever that is that establishes our range to shop in. Then do the same thing with area, do the same thing with price. You know, I'd like to spend this amount, but I could spend this amount. I'd like to live here, but I'd be willing to live within 15, 20, 30 minutes of there. Those are the non-negotiables we wanna establish and then broaden that as much as we can tolerate. That's gonna give us more and more options. Now, when it comes to purchasing and financing, the simpler transactions are gonna be the more normal properties. In the background here, you've got a house it's sitting on about two acres. You're looking at the acreage right now. I'll give you a shot of the house here in a second. The point is that's much easier to find and much easier to buy in most markets. We're right here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. We help people buy and sell homes on land from west of Fort Worth to east of Dallas, south and north within about a 90 minute spectrum. So we kind of have it all. If you're in a smaller area, a smaller town, you're gonna have to be very, very careful and broaden your criteria enough to find something, but not so much that you end up with something that you're not proud of and that you don't love. Establish your non-negotiables. Ideally, aim for the simplest property you can because they're easier to buy, easier to finance. And then dream that full dream. And what I mean by that is picture the life you really wanna live. That doesn't mean you're gonna get it all right away when you buy it, but you wanna make sure that property will allow you to have it all. So. This property, when it was purchased, didn't have almost anything you can see in the background. No pool, no basketball court, no greenhouse, no ponds in the back, no treehouse in the back, no orchard, no gardens, but it did have the land. It was hard to get any place else that would allow for those things to be added over time. As a matter of fact, the home that it had initially was a little bitty, very simple two bedroom, two bathroom that was more than adequate. But then that home was able to be torn down in a much nicer, newer, bigger, more custom home be built. That's not the outcome for everybody, but if the property has the ability to become what you want, it's probably a right property for you. It doesn't have to have it all now. And for most of us that love homes on land, we've got big dreams, short-term and long-term. My recommendation is you don't have to get it all today, but make sure that that property would allow for that long-term. There's a lot more to do on this property that has not yet to be done, but there's been massive progress since this one was purchased. So those are kind of the core items that you need to have figured out on buying a home on land. Now there's a thousand other variables when it comes to fencing and access to the property and wells and septic and solar and all those sorts of things. Are you in the city? Are you in the county? Do you have deed restrictions? Do you have city building codes? What is your access to fire and emergency services? All those things are important and it goes on and on and on and on and on. What you can plant, what you can build, all those things but those core items to get you from where you are to where you wanna be, from not living on land to living on land, do not have to be that complex. Now, obviously you need to evaluate budget and who all's involved in that decision. All those are gonna be key items 
that can get you from not living on land to living on land. Now, a lot of people make one very big mistake. They buy land first. That's not necessarily a mistake, but it is a mistake if you buy land and don't have a plan for getting that home on there. Then the financing of that and the timing of that and the restrictions of that tend to be prohibitive. We see a lot of people buy land and never build the house, never move the house onto the land. Even if it's a camper, a tiny home, prefab, container home, those are all great options depending on your desires. But we see this separate land and home purchase or land and home development end up being a major time delay or majorly prohibitive. And those people end up selling that land and either not getting it done or then buying a home that's already on land or a land that already has a home and making the best out of that situation. So a couple of quick tips early on to help you think through how to get on land. Now, if you're already in a home on land and you want more land or you want more home, those tend to be easier transitions. Again, as long as you're getting both from day one, we can improve. We might even be able to buy neighboring land, reorient the land, move drainage, add ponds, or those exterior features. But we have seen here in the Dallas-Fort Worth market when people want to live in a home on some land, and when we say land, we typically mean more than half an acre and up to maybe 10 or 15, but not a full working farm or ranch. So it's kind of that middle ground of home with a giant lot, home on some land. If that's what you want, then I would argue do that all at once, even if it's not all the land or all the house you want. But get that together. It's easier for financing, it's easier to find it, and then we can add on and grow from there. Let me know in the comments, what are you looking for? Where do you wanna be? What have been the constraints to you getting that done and what questions do you still have? We'll answer those in the comments or maybe we'll shoot another video for you. I want you to achieve the dream like I have of living on some land. Room for the kids to run, room for the grown-ups to run, room for the fire pit, the outdoor kitchen, growing what you want to eat, maybe raising some animals and enjoying some space from the neighbors. Maybe you love to host, maybe you don't want anyone knowing what you're doing back there, but some land will help you do it. So let us know in the comments what you're up to. We can connect with you. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home on land in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, our contact information is below. We'd love to earn your trust and point you towards the life of your dreams in a home on some land. We'll talk to you on the next one.